same as I do No more playing, wishing, waiting I was taking, 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 baby <sighs> You guys ever get a little bit like breathless when you're talking? Because that's me right now Okay to start off this video, I will show you guys, I actually have them all written down right here. Um, yeah, there's a lot and we will just go down the list and I will kind of explain my thought process for all of them. And maybe you can get some ideas for yourself on just like, you know, how to improve yourself and like what you're thinking with the year coming on. I think for a lot of people, like when they think of New Year's resolutions, the reason why they think that they're stupid is because it's like, okay, the next day being New Year's doesn't mean that I'm a completely new person. But I do think that it is an opportunity for you to start a good habit, break bad habits, and build better ones. So that is what I'm coming on here to do today. Like, I obviously know that nothing good happens by changing something super quickly like it takes time and practice and you have to be really diligent about making something happen and that's something i'm willing to commit to so all these things i know are not going to happen overnight but it's something that i want to put my time and effort into so one of my first new year's resolutions is to be active every day being active every day is something that i tried to do this summer just with quarantine and walking around every day i've been really into doing the chloe ting workouts melissa would help and i want to work out to not only like look better but feel better that's something i've been noticing and just making it more of an integral part of my life. Number two is journaling every day. I think it's really hard for me to actually sit down and like write about my entire day, but at least for me, talking about things that I'm grateful for, manifestations, um, affirmations, like I love myself, I can be loved, like things like that, that's a lot easier for me to do. And I often find that I only journal when I feel like I really need it. My hope by journaling every day is that I don't have to only use journaling as an escape. I can also just do it every day to like center myself, you know, when I'm having good days or bad days. Another goal of mine, I was hearing Nathaniel Drew talking about this in his recent video about like New Year's. Um, but he talks about like being more present and multitasking less. I especially find that going to university through Zoom is very, very hard to not multitask, like especially when you have a monitor. If you have you know, your lecture up on one screen and then you're taking notes on the other screen, but then maybe you're like online shopping, like it's very easy to get distracted, especially with like text message notifications from iMessage. And so I've been trying to like turn off notifications and being more present and thinking about the thing that's right in front of me instead of, you know, watching TV while like typing on my phone like why should why am I consuming media on multiple devices when I should just be you know paying attention to one sole subject my next goal is reading and listening to 24 books I actually think this is very doable especially going into like post-grad life um, I've been really into audible.com this is not sponsored by audible I love audible so if they want to sponsor me that's great um, but I have the membership where like you get a free credit every month which applies to a book so I'm currently listening to Hillbilly Elegy, but then I am reading like physically the book, Gold, The Goldfinch, and I really like reading a book and listening to a book at the same time because I listen to books when I'm driving, when I'm brushing my teeth, getting ready, cleaning my room. Um, so you can like kind of multitask when listening. I know I just said I don't want to multitask, but like with a podcast or listening to a book, I think it's okay. But with reading a book, you know, I think it's really good to visually like not have any distractions and look at a physical book. So that is what I'm doing right now and I love it. Another reason why I want to be reading and listening to books is because I feel like especially with post-grad life coming around, I wanna make sure I'm continually learning and enhancing my, voc my vocabulary. So that is my goal with that, to not become rusty with the English language. <laughs> my next goal is to post on YouTube regularly and to actually kind of figure out like what my brand slash like theme is or like point is in creating content on youtube like i obviously love doing it for myself but i think you know i've, I've always thought of youtube as more of just like a side project which is fine because like i have i'm not gonna have a, like a real job and everything but that is something i've been thinking about more and i want to take it more seriously like for myself to just hold myself accountable to like posting weekly and coming up with an outlet for my creativity i think that that is something that just would feed my soul Better than currently is. Next, I want to become more of a minimalist. I think I might have said this last year, but um, I'm really noticing, especially with having like a closet in Michigan, a closet in California, like I've accumulated so many things that just are cheaply made and probably made by like children in a foreign country. And I really want to be a more conscious consumer, buying less things 
um, that are going to have a longer lifespan so I'm not wasting as much. Um, I've been really interested in like shopping from websites like Depop, Poshmark, The Real Real, um, just buying things secondhand to reduce my footprint in the world. My next goal, which I've been really starting to do, I think towards the end of 2020, is listening to the news more regularly as well as like reading the news. Um, it's really easy to engage with like news via social media, but often you don't know like if that is a reliable news source. One example of a podcast that I like listening to for my news is Up First by NPR. Um, they have like daily 13 minute bits and pieces of like summaries of the biggest like news stories, I guess. And so I find that it's a good way to hear about like anything relating to politics or like any type of um, big event that happens. Um, it's not necessarily like, what I would use for learning about like tech or business news. I'm thinking of subscribing to the morning brew just to have that in my like inbox every day to learn more about that stuff but as far as just like what's happening in the world i think npr is a great reliable news source so i've been loving engaging with that and i want to continue doing that next year another thing i started doing this last year was learning korean i still would love to move to korea for a bit and you know immerse myself and with the pandemic it just hasn't really been possible but that's something that i'm still thinking about and i kind of dropped learning Korean like while studying at school this last semester because I was job recruiting and that was just very very stressful so all my extra time is going towards that but now I have more time on my hands and I'm ready to commit to it again. The next thing that I want to focus on more is meditating. Um, I like meditating for my mental health. I think in the digital age and the age that we live in we are constantly seeing notifications, being surrounded by screens and Meditating is such a good way to either like close your eyes or center yourself and not look at anything involving technology and to just it's hard because like if you're listening to something like headspace i guess you are engaging with technology but if you can meditate by yourself or if you can like listen to something i think that that is great but to like visually give your eyes a rest you know and like just your body and like breathe and just be overly cognizant of your surroundings i think is very grounding in itself and something that I want to get better in my practice in 2021. On the topic of like mental health slash anxiety, I definitely realize I deal with that. Um, I think everyone has their own little bits of anxiety, but I think I realized it happens for me more often than I'd like to admit. I just noticed that when I get anxious and people are around me, I tend to take out my frustrations on them or like small comments that they make can easily trigger bad reactions from me whether that's like crying or getting upset and i really want to be able to just cool down and this can be like when i'm talking to someone in person or when i'm engaging with someone via social media or text message so something that i started doing last year which i think i want to just make more of a regular thing is this 20 minute rule so anytime that i have an issue if you have the time and you don't have to respond immediately i like to take a 20 minute break whether that is you know not texting the person back if they upset me and just writing out my own message and notes and just rereading it 20 minutes later and seeing okay do i still want to send this dirty nasty message 20 minutes later or was i just caught up in the heat of the moment and i have more of a level head now and can respond in a more diplomatic manner and more in a level-headed way something else that 2020 taught me was how much i currently go out and spend and eat out and so i got to practice baking more and cooking more in the home um but i want to make it a regular thing post-grad you know growing up my mom constantly was working she's a doctor my son is an accountant my dad is also a doctor so everyone's always working so we didn't really have parents around constantly cooking which i don't blame them at all for that they're obviously very busy making a living um and so i understand that obviously when you're raising kids so i just since I ha will have the time and hopefully not have kids for a while, um, I want to be better at like cooking for myself and being self-sufficient. I think that that is such a good skill to build, especially you know the last years of college and also moving into post-grad life. You save so much money by doing that, and I just love cooking and baking for other people. I think it's one of the best gifts to give people, just showing like love and hospitality towards people. The next thing that I want to improve on or like a resolution for me is being more punctual and on time. Um, this is more for like in-person events, I think, because over Zoom, it's very easy to just like log on to something. Um, but I want to be known for being like 
on time and like having my shit together and so that is something that i'm going to try to improve on especially as we transition into more of an in-person like working environment or social atmosphere moving on to like organization and just being on top of everything i really want to spend an hour every sunday just kind of gathering my thoughts writing out my planner um, I got a cool gift from my friend Tara that's like 52 lists and so I want to do each list at the start of the week to kind of like think about things, um, set the tone of my week and I think like taking an hour to just say like this is when I'm going to get all my stuff that's going on in my head like down on paper i think that that is very grounding for me and i just want to make it a routine to do i love routines but i can often not stick to them but i like the idea of them and so i just want to follow through on everything that i say i'm gonna do next i want to become financially independent this is something that i actually think is really achievable um i'm really fortunate to be you know having a full-time job and assuming that it doesn't get canceled due to covid um i should be making enough of a salary to support myself and that is Something I'm so thankful and grateful for. My parents have supported me pretty much my entire life. And so I would love to be financially independent from them now. Um, that's always been a goal of mine, like post-college to never really need that. That's why I've always also worked every summer in college so that I'm making money when I'm staying and living with them. And so now that I'm not living with them, I also want to be very self-sufficient. This is a small goal, but I do want to try something new every day, not every day, every week this year. Um, one, because the first half of 2021 will be my last semester of college. So I want to do something new on campus every week, whether that's something outdoor, just something new with a friend, um, my boyfriend, whatever. But and then second semester, when not, not second semester, but the second half of the year when I am living post-grad life in a new city, hopefully I can, you know, explore every week and try a new restaurant or food item, you know? Another small thing, I want to get better at skincare. My mother is a dermatologist and she always says you need to protect your skin. I want to try wearing sunscreen every day. I say this now, but I'm not even wearing sunscreen right now. But at least when I'm going outside every day, and especially when things transition to being in person, it is so important to wear sunscreen every day. You don't want to develop skin cancer or get like those brown sunspots. That is how you keep yourself looking youthful. And we all want to look youthful. Next, I want to be more confident in my decisions. So. 2020 i was president of my business fraternity which was an amazing experience i was the first female president in the last like eight years which was such a rewarding experience i mean i have a female president taking over 2021 and that is amazing um but at the same time like it taught me that i question a lot of my decisions and i get a lot of anxiety after i make decisions because i wonder if what i did was right and i just want to get better in believing myself Almost every time I did, you know, come up with good ideas, they were good. I just would second guess myself. And I don't know if that's because there were previous men leading the organization before me, but that is something that I noticed a while ago. And that is something that I just overly cognizant of now. And I want to just be more firm and confident in myself. Moving along with this and also just being confident, I'm trying to stop comparing myself to other people, um, especially now moving towards past college. Like in college, it's so easy to compare yourself to people because you're in the same grade as people, you're living with people your age, and you're constantly surrounded by people your same age. But the real in real life, like you're working with people who are so much older than you, people who are younger than you, and you're meeting people from all different walks of life. And it's just so important to recognize that each human's path is very unique and everyone's an individual. You need to just have empathy for people and know that you don't need to compare your you know shortcomings to other people's and your accomplishments to other people's as well. Like you're always gonna be jealous of someone else. Someone else is always gonna be jealous of you. Like, I'm just trying to be content with what I have and be happier. Next, this has to do with like my relationships with people. I want to get better at not talking about myself as much. And I don't think that I only talk about myself when I engage in conversations with people, but I think I could do a better job asking people like how they are, how was their family? Um, what did they do today? Just like allowing people to have the space to talk about themselves and like vent people will always remember the way that you made them feel and not what you said to them i've always taken that like quote or piece of knowledge with me and i think that's very very true so if i can you know be a better friend sounding board for people that is what i want to be the second to last thing that i want to work on this year is slowing down when i speak i really notice this on youtube and i'm sure you've noticed this whole video but i talk very very fast i think when i'm either nervous or out of a lot of things going on in my head i just want to be better at gathering my thoughts speaking slower not saying the word like or um 
I was about to say um but yes that is what I want to improve <laughs> And lastly, I would like to speak more positively. And this goes with everything. Speaking more positively about myself, um, being confident in myself and saying thank you when people give me compliments. But then also when talking about my peers to my friends, talking only about the positives of other people and really not trying to bring anyone down. The more positive you talk, the more happy you will be if you are constantly saying negative things about people that's just going to bring you down and then you never know if what you said to someone else is going to get back to them and i just think it's a toxic cycle of negative energies so. i'm hoping that 2021 just brings us a lot of happiness and that we are healthy our families are healthy if there's anything that i took from 2020 is that it is so important to be grateful for everything that you have to cherish the people in your life, the opportunities that you have and to really live in the moment because you never know how that could change. And it's also just taught me to be extremely agile and to not ever have a complete built out plan because you never know what could happen. So with that, 2021, you know, throw anything you want at me, throw anything you want at everyone and let's all just be ready for whatever happens. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about my goals and myself. And please, please share in the down bar below any of your New Year's resolutions. And hopefully we can all create positive vibes for this channel in 2021. I will see you guys sooner or later. Peace out.